This video looks at all of the matches of Miku Takaichi at the 2022 Jerusalem World Masters. You might not be familiar with the name Miku Takaichi, but you may well know her under the name Miku Tashiro, which she's been competing under until recently. So here we see Takaichi getting behind her opponent, lifting her under the crotch and she's opened up room to go under her opponent for a katagatame turnover. She's just got to get that leg out, hips high in the air, bouncing off the mat and the knee slides out and Osai Komi is called and it's high pressure katagatame. She's got her shoulder right over the face of her opponent and rather than being flattened out, she's driving off her right leg and certainly not a comfortable one for the girl in white and eventually she says, that's enough, get me out of here. So Takaichi advances to round two. Round two would be a more challenging affair. Ozbas of Hungary does a pretty good job at defending a lot of Miku's newaza. So we see the same Katagatame turnover, but the Hungarian girl is able to do a better job at locking down one of T Takaichi's legs. I keep wanting to say Tashiro. I'm so used to referring to her as Tashiro. So Takaichi was married to another judoka in November. So they got married. The judoka's name is uh, Kingo Takaichi. That's her husband. And he competed for Japan at the 2014 World Judo Championships. So some of the older viewers may remember him. Takaichi tries for the Kosodogari. Ozbas does a good job at avoiding ending up on her back. Ozbas lunging for a foot sweep and has to defend off the Miku Takaichi Okuri Eri Jime. So Ozbas looks like she's got grips on both sleeves and it seems like she's able to remove her head from this strangle and avoid the Osaikomi attempt and then crawls off the mat. Seo Toshi attempt by Ozbas almost ends up with her in a bad Newaza situation. Takaichi goes for the turnover with the Ashi Sankaku. Ozbas defended well by controlling Takaichi's left hand, made it harder for her to establish a proper Karagatame. So we're in golden score now. Uchimata attempt brought it to the ground. Takaichi switching for that grip to look for the SRT turnover. The ref calls Mate. And the Osoto Gari from the same side sleeve grip was enough to get her through to the quarterfinals. So her quarterfinal matchup was against Lucy Renschel of Great Britain. Renschel is one of the more highly ranked players in this division. Renschel is a very good Newaza player, but she tends to have trouble against the Japanese. But in this match, I thought she was putting in a pretty good performance. She seems to be improving on her Tachiwaza. She's had a few big Ippon wins over the last few months. I think I featured her in one of the Juji Gatame or submissions videos on this channel over the last few months. And Kochigari, Takaichi decides not to try to follow up in Newaza.
Takeichi looking to get inside, or perhaps even outside. It ends up with a Seo Otoshi. Not one of the most picturesque Seo Otoshis, but it did score Waza Ari, so Toshiro takes the lead with just over a minute remaining. Renshaw had a Sankaku on the ground, but the ref didn't give her much time to work with it. Kosoto Gari by Miku Toshiro. Once again, looking for this Ashi Sankaku turnover. I do have a video going over the Ashi Sankaku system. I was thinking about doing an update of that after the performance of uh, Tsubasa Takahashi at the Kodokan Cup. If you're interested in that, let me know. So the final 10 seconds, Takaichi still looking for the chance to finish off in Newaza. Uh, time is not on her side, but the scoreboard is. So she heads into the semi-final against Barrios. So attempted Sumi Gaishi stuffed by Takaichi. Barrios tries to scramble to turtle, but before she's able to set up a good defense, Takaichi is on her. She's got the hand under the collar. The other hand is reaching over, grabbing the pants under the leg. And she's just rubbing her opponent's face into the mat. Certainly not the most pleasant position. And it's too much for Barrios to take and she submits. So Takaichi, dominant semi-final performance, moves into the final against Laura Fazliu of Kosovo. Kosovo team is pretty small, but they have a lot of success. On day one of the tournament, Krasniki won the gold medal in the 52 class, 52 kilo class. So like most of the Kosovo team, they like this low grip behind the back around the level of the kidneys. They often go in for Uchimata. I think uh, Laura likes Uranage. But Toshiro is able to use her left hand to stop Julia getting in deep on that Uchimata attempt. You can see Tashira sometimes brings her arm over Laura's elbow to stop her being able to raise that arm for the Uchimata. So looking for Uchimata Skash or even Ashigaruma there. One more time going under the crotch to try and off balance her opponent but Nothing happened in that Newaza exchange. An Ochigari counter to the Uranage. Now Toshiro's got Laura bent over. Looks like she's going in for the Osodogari. Laura tries to counter with Uranage. The referee's called Ippon for Takaichi. I'm sure they'll have a look at a replay. So Laura tries to counter with the Uranage, but it just seems like the left leg of Takaichi is just snaked around her own and it really ruins her Uranage attempt. And you can see at the last moment Laura's abandoned it and tried to block her own bad landing. You can see Takaichi's back and side make no contact with the mat. Some may say it should have been Waza'ari rather than Ippon, with 40 seconds left on the clock. Don't think it would have made much difference. So Miku Takaichi takes her fourth World Masters Championship gold medal. Subscribe for more non-stop Nawaza. No